How many more will keep on suffering? How many more will keep on dying? How many more will sit back patiently, waiting on humanity? How many more will have to lose their lives while the world stands and stares? How many more will keep on wondering? Does the world really care? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So this is week eight of uh, the JKN Community Kitchen, and we've got Chris again. Hello, Chris. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> don't, on, don't 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 pretend don't pretend you're shy. This week uh, we've got biryani on the menu. Biryani on the menu. Chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. Chips. Chips. And rice pudding. Rice pudding. I've got an echo, <laughs> mashallah. Our tea counter, Mullah Naeem Saab has made an appearance this week, mashallah. Mufti Abdul Wahid Saab is down here. Uh, Mullah Rahmatullah Saab is here as well, mashallah. And Mullah Ubaid Al Haq has made, a w made his appearance down here as well this week, mashallah. Jazakallah khairan to all our volunteers. Jazakallah khairan to all our volunteers. Fine. Brother Saeed is on the tea counter again, uh, serving hot drinks, Thank coffees, you, teas. Soup teas. <laughs> so, Mashallah, Mufti Saab, Mufti Saif Al Islam Saab has just arrived. You need to call all the people, all, you know, we want to see every homeless teacher. person here. Yeah. Any person who's on the street, all, all, you know, friends, teacher, colleagues. Yeah. If you can get everybody here, we'll be very happy to see them. Yeah. We can accommodate up to 1,000 people. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Even if you know people around the cities, yeah. so we want everybody here. So you won't okay. need to worry about food or clothing. We will be providing everything for you. Thank you. So you're welcome to come. We're so happy to see you. Thank you. I really took that time out to see you because after this, uh, every Sunday I'm busy again. Yeah. <laughs> so just come back from Saudi. Okay. Just wait to do the pilgrimage. Yeah. This is a Feedback, yeah, can, how we can improve it. So it'll be very good, inshallah. Yeah, yeah. This is Mufti Saif al Islam Saab talking to some of the service users, um, speaking to them, making sure that they have everything that they need. My name is Maya Wahid and I, I'm nine years old. We, we are giving food to the poor people because they have not eaten for many days. Good girl. MashaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, we're joined by Mufti Saif al Islam Saab, the person who was the inspiration behind opening the Bradford Community Kitchen. Uh, so, if Mufti Saab, um, can you just explain to us what made you want to do this project? Alhamdulillah, from my childhood, I had this uh, aspiration of helping people, whether Muslims or non Muslims. And Alhamdulillah, our Deen, our religion, Islam teaches us that we should always take care of our neighbours and obviously being in Bradford and uh, seeing our brothers and sisters and seeing our non-Muslim uh, brothers and sisters as well uh, that what's happening to humanity at large and visiting different parts of the world that poverty and people who are going through all these difficulties uh, we need uh, to help them and uh, obviously I want to promote that uh, individual myself and also uh, encourage my brothers and sisters and Muslim and non-Muslim uh, to help out those people who are in need and this is what our beautiful religion Islam teaches us that a person should not uh, just think about themselves you do not be selfish you have to be a selfless person always thinking about the neighbors think about people who are around us who are less uh, privileged than yourself so this is a beautiful teachings of Islam which really prompted me to start this uh, program off and I had this in my mind for a good number of years and Alhamdulillah, uh, Alhamdulillah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it materialize uh, this year uh, and we started this off last few weeks ago 
And Alhamdulillah, I've just come back from Umrah, and I was delighted that I could take this Sunday out. Usually, I have programs on weekends, so this was my first Sunday that I was in Bradford. So, Alhamdulillah, I was so happy and uh, impressed to see our colleagues, our graduates, our students, mashallah, helping out, giving their precious time, and especially Sundays when many of us were busy at home, we don't want to get out. But mashallah, our youngsters, mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them, bless them, and give them steadfastness in doing this work. And it really is soothing to my heart that, alhamdulillah, even in this day and age, we have brothers and sisters who want to help. And after the message went forward, alhamdulillah, I had uh, calls and I had messages from all around the world uh, complimenting our work and uh, encouraging us. And they all, mashallah, wanting to know how they can also help as well. So inshallah ta'ala, if we all work together, like the Quran says, that we should help each other open piety and taqwa. So inshallah ta'ala, uh, all our brothers and sisters should come forward and try to help. And we, inshallah ta'ala, now it's local, we want to make it national, we want to make it international, that we can help all those people who are less privileged than us. But the Muslims are non Muslims. We need to help humanity with the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, every living object by feeding them, by helping them, this is the reward of sadqa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our uh, humble efforts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our brothers and sisters who have participated and contributed and who will contribute in the future. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone, keep everyone steadfast and give us uh, death upon iman. This is my dua for all our brothers and sisters. Jazakallah khair, ahsan jazak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair. How many more will keep on suffering? How many more will keep on dying? How many more will sit back patiently Waiting on humanity How many more will have to lose their lives While the world stands and stares How many more will keep on wondering Does the world